Well, today guys, we are back for another farming episode. We're gonna go pick up, we're gonna go pick up a razor. Or a ranger, I should say. The ranger. Now the reason why we're getting a ranger is because on the past live stream, everybody was like, squad, squad, you need a ranger, you need to get a ranger. And so, because you guys saw the ranger in the, what was it, camping vid or something like that? And so I was like, yes, we need to get a razor. Now, a ranger, I should say. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that mixed up so many times, I feel like. I'm gonna mix up razor and ranger, like all the time. So. What trailer do I choose? We have so many trailers, it's insane. We have a livestock trailer, we have your regular car trailer, you have a... Technically, it's called a landscape trailer, I guess is what, like, the name is. I don't know, you can consider it a car trailer, you can consider it anything, kind of. The difference between these and these isn't even that, that much. We have the dump trailer, we have the 40-foot trailer, and we have something else. I apologize if you guys hear any, like, noises in the recording also. Just, my roommates and stuff are playing, uh playing other video games and stuff so they're probably screaming and stuff but anyways <laughs> who cares so what we're going to be doing is uh we're going to be buying that ranger and then also i bought one more field i decided to buy another field and i figured it was a small wheat field and i wanted to harvest some wheat so it's it's a tiny little wheat field so we're going to start wheat harvest and i'm going to start by myself it should be fine i should be able to handle it usually for harvest time i get a couple of hired hands but for now I think I'll be fine. So we're going to connect to the gooseneck, and thank gosh, this truck has... Oh, shoot, there we go. Now it's down. Sweet, we'll connect to the gooseneck. Now, guys, I'm going to... I guess... I don't post... Some, one thing I need to talk to you guys about is I don't post mob links, like, anymore at all. Basically, the main reasons is because it's so hard... Uh, well, I guess some of the main reasons are... Um, first of all, it's... Uh, Owen usually does the videos and stuff, and he doesn't know where all the mob links come. And then it takes a lot of time to search and track down all these mods and stuff. And then lately I've been getting a lot of mining groups that tell me to go, just link it to their Facebook. And you got to go find it on their Facebook page because they don't want me like actually posting the true mod link um, in the mod description. So it's been kind of tough lately. Um, but I wanted, because I, I noticed even on Facebook, I was on Facebook the other day. Like I have my own like squad Facebook. I just, I don't add anybody. It's just like this thing that I use just to get mods from Facebook. But I was on Facebook the other day. And a lot of people were having a hard time finding mods on like expendables and stuff, and they're like, uh, they're having a hard time and stuff. So I was like, oh, we gotta, I gotta find some way to get mods better to you guys and stuff, rather than throwing you guys to Facebook and stuff like that. So I've always considered creating my own mod website where we just have mods and it's super easy to find all the mods. That way I don't have to link them up. That way they're all on one big mod website. So I'm thinking about doing that. Um, it's whether or not I just get to it and actually and actually do it But that's something I really need to do uh, for you guys because I ah, mean I have so many mods and stuff I have Three four hundred mods probably so I gotta I gotta start doing that for you guys But we're going to the gooseneck Trailer the car hauler and I think the ranger the ranger will be like a nice little fit for this You know it won't be something crazy to where the f-150 can't handle it. It'll be it'll be perfect I feel like it'll be nice. It'll be real nice yeah, I'm gonna turn the game volume down because it has got to be insanely loud for you guys. And we'll keep going. So this is, is this the wheat field I just bought? I think this is the wheat field I just bought. I wanted to harvest one field of wheat just so we could get straw. And just in case we didn't have enough straw for cows. That's all I want it for. But while we're harvesting wheat, why not take the grain and sell the grain? So that's what we're going to be doing. Now tomorrow's video, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I haven't decided what we're going to do tomorrow. But this whole weekend, we've just been doing farming vids. It's awesome. Okay, and then by the way, I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. We're close to 400k subs, so every like 100k, I want to do a giveaway. Um, so I'm either going to be giving away a PS4 or Xbox One. Also, okay, so the neighbor, the neighbor we bought, the neighbor we bought this from, um, had used it just a little bit. This is the, this is our neighbor just right down the street. You know, I could drive down the street, but I want to always load it up. So how much do you guys think we paid for this? How much do you guys think we paid? Uh, for the Ranger. Dude, every time I want to say Razor, I want to say Razor every time. Just because I've used the Razor so many times and I'm used to saying Razor. But the Ranger, it's red. That's the only, like, I didn't even care about the price. I was like, it's red. We need it. We need it. Because we have Miss Squad's Porsche. We have the F-150. By the way, in case you guys wanted to see Miss Squad, that was kind of weird. But, uh, I forgot what his name was. Some guy came on and he came in on the Discord as Miss Squad and stuff. So that was the first uh, Miss Squad, but he was just he was just messing around. Obviously, it was weird because like he was like, "Hey, I'm Miss Squad." And he has like a crazy, uh, a crazy deep voice like me, kind of or something. But yeah, that's not Miss Squad. Trust me. Maybe one day we'll get Miss Squad on here, the real Miss Squad. <clears throat> but uh, 
Okay, for now, we're going to... Oh, shoot, dude. This thing has extreme speed. It is insane how much speed this has. I'm just going to put it right here. I just want all the weight over on the trailer, mainly. Okay, I'm going to fold it up and then lock the load on this thing. There we go. Load is locked. Okay, so... Oh, I guess... Okay, so what do you guys think these things are worth? Worth the Rangers. Now, the Rangers... Dude, I'm, I'm going to give it to players. Okay, so here. I know a lot of you guys are going to hate me, but in my opinion... Polaris? Polaris is so like plasticky, right? But I feel like Polaris crush it on the Razors or Rangers. Everybody, everybody wants them, but to again when I look at it, and like even my boss was like, should I get a Ranger or should I get a Gator? And I was like, you gotta go Gator. Just because the Rangers are I mean they're cool off-road vehicles and stuff, but they're kinda like Polaris kinda builds real plasticky. Like all this stuff, it feels like even the interior of this, it's all kinda like plasticky compared to deer. Deer I feel like deer makes a better UTV for like farm use I should say but for like you know off-roading the razor crushes it razor crushes it for farm use I would rather take a gator over the ranger but right as I right as I get this right as I get this I'm, I'm kind of dissing the ranger but no ranger rangers probably a great vehicle too everybody loves them it seems like every farmer has a Polaris ranger so I shouldn't uh I shouldn't diss the ranger too much but that's my thoughts rangers like even the box now now gators could have a could have a uh like a plasticky box too, but Rangers seem like all kind of plasticky. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's my take. I guess I've never owned either, so I shouldn't I shouldn't say. But that's kind of my take on them. Right, right as we're getting one. Okay. Anyways, the F one hundred and fifty. We should be able to pull out of here. Oh gosh. Come on. Make the turn. Don't get stuck in the tree. There we go. Our new Ranger. That I was just like talking crap about a second ago. But no, no. It'll be a good vehicle for us. It'll be sweet. And I can pull. I need a little utility trailer to pull behind it around the farm. That'll be nice. I'm trying to think of what we'll use it for. Mainly, I'll, I'll drive it around on these roads and stuff. It's kind of how ironic how I'm like, I'll drive around on the roads. Yeah, I'm trailering it back and stuff. But we, we needed we needed something to get here, too. We need something to get here. Okay. And then we are going to go. I'm going to go take the. Uh, I'm going to go take the combine and start harvesting over here is what we'll do. We'll, we'll start harvesting some wheat. And then we have our beans growing in here, which those should be ready any second. Oh, and then silage. I got to show you guys silage because, man, we've been done doing so many farm videos. In case you guys saw, in case you guys saw silage. I don't know. Ah, did you guys see silage? Yeah, you guys did. I was going to say, in case you guys saw, um, you, you, but you guys didn't see the whole thing. That's the thing. See, these guys put, a, I didn't see the whole thing. These guys put a ton of work in um, after I left the server and after the live stream was done. So the bunker's like 80% full. 85% full and it looks like they blanketed it and it's all ready to go basically so I can show you guys that I don't know if they chopped the whole field I gotta go check you know what we'll take our ranger to check out the field to see if they harvested the or if they chopped the whole field over there okay this is always the same unloading spot I always go to I always just pull right along here and we'll unload I kind of like our driveway we have right here too everything about it okay we'll fold down the ramps jump in the ranger the first technically real drive drive What's that sound? Okay, I thought I was gonna say I thought I turned off the F one hundred and fifty. There we go. Rangers fired up. Now one thing about it is it's pretty quiet and it's really zippy. Oh shoot, we got the load locked. That's what it was. There we go. Now load is unlocked. Also, we need to soon start picking our sweet corn over here. Too bad you couldn't hand pick corn. I'd love if you could just hand pick corn. Come in here and you know hand pick it. But uh, yeah, eventually we need to start picking our uh, our sweet corn over here. That'll be nice. Look at that setup. That's a nice setup right there. Okay, the Ranger. It's perfect. We got the... I think Steel makes steel makes a farm boss, I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's a farm boss. Chainsaw. Farm something. Farm Pro Chainsaw or something. There's like a farm edition of the Chainsaw. Okay, dude, I know I unlocked that load. Okay, obviously I didn't, but I thought I unlocked that load. Now we unlock the load. There we go. With the Ranger. Okay. We'll pull back here, and then I'm gonna run down there and oh shoot, shoot! I can't control it. Oh my gosh, dude, this thing has insane power. <laughs> okay, slow her down. Oh, you know what? It sounds pretty good when it's winding down. To be honest, it sounds real good. It sounds nice. <laughs> this thing flies. It gets up and goes, man. I wonder if the top speed on Rangers are actually 60 miles an hour. I'm guessing it's close to like 50 mile an hour. But here's our field. Did they chop it all? I think they did. I They had to have chopped it. Maybe they chopped the other cornfield too. I got to check, dude. They might have chopped the other cornfield completely also. 34? No, 28. 
Oh, what was the other cornfield? 43. Did they chop it? Okay, no, they didn't. Okay, it was 43. Yeah, they didn't chop it, but they chopped all 28. Oh, dude. They did so much more work. This is insane. I guess I haven't showed you guys the bunker yet either. Wow. That is insane. And then this is the wheat field I just bought right Or er, No, there's no way I just bought this wheat. Did I? No, 29. I was like, what? I bought 29, which is this tiny little wheat field right here. This thing is literally tiny. The wheat's ready to come out. Oh my gosh. Look how tiny this is. You know what? I don't even think I'll have to bring... See, I only want it for the straw. So I don't even think I'll have to bring a gravity wagon or anything. I think I can just bring the combine and bring it all back in the combine. Wow. This is going to be a tiny little field. And we don't own this farm yet. We just farm, we just lease some of the ground from technically, or we own some of the ground from, but hey, we're working our way in. Eventually, maybe, eventually maybe we'll own the farm. That'd be cool if we do. You know what? This ranger is nice. I like this. Flies. <laughs> oh gosh. There we go. Ground gets a little rough. Shoot. Don't flip it. See, the ground gets a little rough and the steering, it's a little crazy for me. <laughs> we get some air with the ranger, man. I love how every we're matching everything up, though. We have red, red, red. We have, Miss Squad has a red Porsche. I have the red F-150. We have the red Ranger now. Um, what else is red? I feel like I bought another red. Huh. Anyways, for now, but you know what? Found the perfect spot for the Ranger, too. Right here. We'll look at her. And then, dude, we could hook it up to the planner, maybe, or something. <laughs> that would be cool. Okay. Here we go. For now, we'll put the... Oh, you know what? Let's drive the Ranger over here. So actually, instead, the ranger's gonna be nice because usually, like, I'll sprint across the farm. Instead, I can just hop in the ranger and just kind of whip around the farm because our farm's getting kind of big, like, to where I have to run around all the time. So here's the bunker now. Here's the silage bunker now. In fact, we'll take the ranger right out there. I'll show you guys. Oh, <laughs> dude, we need to get a plow for this. Oh, that's what we need to do. We need to really get a plow for this. That'd be perfect. But it's completely full. Like, the, the fill level is obviously above the cement walls, so that's why it looks so weird and stuff. But, oh my gosh, we're never going to run out now. This is going to be insane. Okay, we will back out of here, and then I'll go put the ranger back. And then we will get... Oh, also, some guy was saying I need to get a service bed on that Chevy. So, I think that's... You know what? I, I'm going to switch that out right now. We're going to do that as we speak, and then go get the combine. Go get the combine and start uh, harvesting, as long as I have my draper. I should have my draper here, just for the wheat field. Okay. Oh, you know what? It might have. <laughs> maybe I should have just parked the Ranger over here, and eventually we'll get the F-150 all folded up and stuff. But so, oh, by the way, the price of the Ranger. I never even got to that. Man, I just keep forgetting. Kind of get. I'm kind of getting distracted right now by my roommates and stuff. Um, but because I can hear them and stuff. But um, anyways, the price of the Ranger, we paid eighty-five for it. Eighty-five hundred dollars. Is that good or is that bad? $8,500. It's one year old, so it's a 2017 for $8,500. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or not. It only had 40 hours on it, so 40 hours is kind of a lot, to be honest. But uh, 40 hours is a lot in one year. But uh, what do you guys think? $8,500? Is that a good deal? I had to get it. Once I saw it was red, I was like, ah, I got to get it. Okay, so we're going to throw the service bed on this because you know what? I really want to have the service bed on now. Now that that guy mentioned it, I was like, I really want to have it on. It's full of liquid too, so we're basically going to throw away all this fertilizer technically. Or not liquid, fertilizer. Okay. We'll open the garage door and then back her up in here. Oh shoot. Oh, oh, I was opening. Okay. There we go. We'll pull her in here. And then start backing her up. Okay. We'll switch out and throw the service bed on her. Customize. You know what? I should put repair it while we're at it. Repair it. And then customize it and throw ooh, down here, I think. It's where you set up Big Tax TM Bradford Service. There we go. So now it's going to be our service truck once it, once it pops up here. It should pop up soon. There we go. I'm going to save the game because this service, uh, the server's actually been crashing recently. There we go. Oh, dude, I don't know if I like it all orange. Ah, whatever. It's good. It looks kind of DOT ish. Like a DOT truck, because in Iowa, the, all the DOT vehicles are usually like orange. It does look DOT. <laughs> Looks a little weird. Oh, it's still loaded with fertilizer. So it's still squatting a ton. Oh, dude, I got to get this unloaded somehow. I don't know how. I figured it would unload, but now it's like it's a slow truck because it's got all this fertilizer in there. 
Dude, it still shows those tanks in there and still loaded with fertilizer. Ah, that's weird. I wonder if we can move that. Oh, I was wondering if I can move that arm at all. That'd be sweet if we could move that, uh, I guess you could call it, uh, crane arm or whatever. That'd be sweet if we could move that. Okay, anyways, we're going to get the 9770 out and put a draper on her. Go harvest the wheat. Now I'm hoping, dude, you know what I could do? Uh, I, it wouldn't be too realistic, but I could have the ranger follow with a tiny little gravity wagon. Now uh, th that's probably not too realistic. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Okay. Not, uh, do we have the 95? Oh, we don't have the 9770. Okay. We'll just run the 9570 for now, I guess. It's, it's our smaller combine, but it's fine. And we should probably service it, to be honest. We should really get this serviced. So I'm going to take it to the shop first. Yeah, see, it's not even starting up. We're going to take it to the shop first, repair it, get it all serviced. We could re we could service it with our service truck, but I'll take it to the shop first and service it that way. And then we need to find that draper, too. There we go. Dude, I have no idea where our drapers are. I'm trying to think where these guys put these drapers, even. I have no idea. Okay. For now, we will repair... Ooh, 400 bucks? Okay, so, like, in Farming Simulator, that's... $400 is a ton. Like, usually you see 50 and 40 bucks, but $400 is a ton. So that means it really need maintenance. And in uh, in real life, obviously, $400 for a combine like this repair is probably... It's probably... I wonder how much it is to just, like, do a full, like, you know... Full yearly service for these and change all the fluids, all of that, it's probably close to two grand or more. I, I'm probably way off, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna back out the combine and I gotta find, I gotta find my draper wherever it is. Oh, okay, let me look around. We'll leave the combine running and we'll look around for it. Oh, I'm trying to think, where do these, where do they put these at? Oh, where's all of our, yeah, I was gonna say, where's all of our equipment at, too? Looks like people backed them in over here. Yep. Oh, so they got the mixer on the 8370, and then they got the loading wagon over here. And they got the semi and low loader over here. See, I, I dude, I actually love dedicated servers because people organize everything. Everything's all nice. It's awesome how good you guys are at this. It's it's cool. It's cool. Okay, where is the Draper? Oh, gravity wagons right there. Dude, everything is organized so nice. It is insane. But where's my draper? I think he might have put him in a different shed. Where could these be? Okay, I found them. They're in the back of the cow barn. So we have to go all the way back here. Okay, so it looks like there's two different ones. One of these drapers is a little different. I don't know which one to get. So what is this? 640D. This is a 640D. What else? Okay, no, maybe they are the same length. Okay, I'll pull one of these out, but we gotta pull all this equipment out first, but this is a task for the ranger. We'll go grab the ranger, hook her up here, and just start yanking some of this equipment out. You know, this will work perfect, because it's got a hitch on the back. I love the hitch on the back factor. And it's tight, fits in small places, this will be perfect. Hook on the equipment, drag it out, we'll go from there. The good old ranger. Dude, to be honest, I would rather have, oh, I shouldn't say that. Uh, it would be sweet to have a gator like this. Uh, I don't know, like like the Halforms work gator, the 825, like XI or something like that. Now there's there's no good one that's in farm sim. There's some gators in there, but they're not they're not that good to be honest. So we'll pull out the rake now. Hopefully this attaches. The hitch might be like too low or something. Man, I hope this attaches. It should. Oh, it might. It might not. Oh, there we go. It attaches. We're good. <laughs> oh, the ranger doing work, baby. <laughs> this looks kind of cool on it. Okay. We'll uh, throw the rake just right over here and then pull out my draper. Now, they're both the same, so that means I don't have to move the big chopper over there. We should be good. The ranger gets going. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Dude, it's tough to control. It is. Okay. We'll pull out the draper. We only need one. Maybe I should pull out both because eventually we're going to be harvesting beans. So I should probably pull out the other one while we're at it. Oh shoot, I'm not lined up all the way. Oh shoot, man, we're lagging. There we go. Nice, nah, if the ranger can pull her. There we go. I don't know if this cart was made for us, to be honest. Was it? It might have been. It's nice that we have 
I don't know if this header cart... Yeah, the header cart doesn't see... Ah, it might have been, I guess. There we go. We got our other draper out. Now, I gotta move that... Uh, we gotta move that chopper quick. We really gotta move that chopper. Okay. I'll park the ranger over here. Hop in here. What was that cow... Oh, I thought for some reason that cow was doing something weird. It had his head down and the angle is at. Made it look really weird there. Okay. Anyways, the chopper. We'll jump in the chopper. And you know what? I could probably hook this up. And you, oh. Oh. Huh. That works perfect, dude. I can just yank her out like that instead of bring the ranger in here. If it'll fit. Okay, how did these guys get it in here, dude? Oh, okay. It'll fit. Oh, shoot. Maybe not. Ah, uh, we're off just a little bit. Um, are we gonna fit around here? Please fit. Oh, this is gonna be a little tough. <laughs> this is gonna be tough through here. There we go, nice. Okay, I'm gonna take the chopper and then we'll put her in there, but unfortunately I can't go around that way. I want the back her all the way around. Uh, might as well throw her around here. Shoot, don't let the power washer. Okay, now it's time to hook up the rake again. Connect her. And then uh, back her up all the way. Let's see if we can't get it. Oh, okay. You know what? This isn't too bad to back up. I should be able to pin it right between there. We should be able to. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, we're off a little bit. There we go. Nice. Okay. The Ranger has done it. Dude, it's paying for itself already. The Ranger's paying for itself already. Okay. Um, You know what? We got to move one of these drapers. I got to move it like out of the way somewhere, like over in the grass, because it might be a couple of weeks until we actually start using it fully back up I'll get out and hook up I totally forgot we had manual attach though one weird thing about this For some reason I thought we didn't have manual attach okay what the ranger pull over here dude I would love to see us load three gravity wagons try to pull it with a ranger I'll just throw her in low and see if she'll pull I don't know that'd be kind of cool to watch you know okay for now we'll pull uh, we'll pull the draper just around here it'll work good and then we got to get harvested man we still got to get harvested we still haven't even started harvesting there we go. We'll unattach her. Jump in the ranger. And then we'll put the ranger back. Oh, maybe we should bring a gravity wagon, to be honest. Do we have a hitch on the back of this? We do. Dude, okay, so... Is that realistic, though? That is... I don't know, guys. Is that unrealistic? I could pull a gravity wagon over there. That would work. I feel like it's kind of unrealistic, though. Okay, here. Okay, here. For now, the ranger's going in here. Um, we should probably put it away in its normal spot. But for now, it's going in there. But I'm thinking what I can do... Is since I barely have any crop, I don't need another tractor. I can hook the combine to a gravity wagon, bring the gravity wagon over to the field, unhook it, start harvesting. Oh, actually, you know what? I gotta pull my header with the combine. Never mind. Okay, hopefully we can fit all the wheat in this combine. I don't know, if the, dude. Man, I hope this works. We should be. We should be good. It's a tiny, tiny field. I, I think we'll be good. So we'll hook up to the header, and then take it over there. Uh, there we go. Shoot, we should be close. I saw it somewhere. Oh, okay, that was a far distance, far reach. Oh, man, that is close. Dude, if I turn, I'm definitely going to hit that. Hopefully it stays on. We should be good. Okay, well, technically... Oh, shoot, we got to back up. Technically, this is the first harvest. Oh, my gosh. I Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah, uh, this is going to be tough. Shoot. Man. Darn it. Okay, yeah, this isn't going to work too good. Darn. Ah, uh, it's fine. Okay, so we'll pull all the way around here. It's, uh, it's it's just too tough. Okay, so what I got to do is I got to drop her over here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, darn it. Okay, we got to put the card over here. Oh, dude. Okay, so we got to go grab that over there. I'll pull this over here, unattach it. Unfortunately, it didn't work that good. I don't know how these guys were able to get it on the, the, the car anyways in the first place, you know? So for now, we'll go hook up to the... Uh, we'll go hook up to the header over here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, we're going to make it. We should be able to... <sighs> okay, there we go. We're good. Unfortunately, or I guess fortunately, there's no, tr there's, there's, I turned off traffic, so we're not going to run into any cars or anything. We're just going down the road. We should be fine, technically. Pull over here. Connect. 
Okay, now I just, dude, I gotta make sure I'm not, I don't hit anything. This is gonna be tight, especially getting in and out of the farm. Telephone poles, we gotta watch out for that stuff. We'll back up all the way around here. Oh gosh, watch out. Oh dude, what should I name my cars? I was thinking, I was thinking, what should I name my F-150? I should have a name for it. What about Clifford? Clifford. Okay, what do you, okay, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think of the name Clifford for the F-150. What do you guys think? Not, I don't have to do, just Clifford, just red, you know, Clifford, Clifford, I like it. Tell me what you guys think in, this, in uh, the comments. If you guys have a different name, let me know, dude. If it's a cool name, I'll take it. I'll take it. If you guys like the name, if you guys think of a name like the name, I'll take it. I'll use it. That'd be sweet. Okay. We will take throw on cruise control. At, oh, it only goes 16 mile an hour. That's it. Okay. It's fine. I don't want to hit these uh, telephone poles. We wouldn't have internet, man. We wouldn't have internet at the farm, and then we wouldn't be able to post videos on... Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. On our YouTube channel. Okay, there we go. Oh, my gosh. I took out the telephone pole right as we were going. Okay, we'll take a right and then head all the way down here and start the wheat harvest. There we go. You know what's insane? I've been thinking about this lately. I can't believe... We played, I played this game for two years straight, every single day, for two years straight. I mean, I guess, I guess sometimes I didn't play every single day, sometimes I'd record two videos in a day, you know, and stuff like that, but wow, that has been insane. And it's just the mods that kept it all alive, that's why you guys watch me, that's why, that's why everybody still loves Farming Simulator, just because of all the mods, all the role playing you can do. It, it's been a good game, like if you... If somebody's able to play it for two days straight every single day and you guys are still watching the content and stuff like that's that's insane that's insane i love it i love it like dude i wonder if they didn't make an fs19 i could probably play this 10 years from now and with all the mods being made people would still love it and stuff and it'd still be a fun game to play and especially i guess the thing that's gotten to me lately is the farming i, I really enjoy the farming and when i actually start a series and start harvesting um and all that because before I didn't even farm at all. I don't know why, but right when I got into farm somewhere, I didn't even really care to farm. I, I loved uh, like the role play accent, uh, uh, the role play videos like camping and stuff like that. Okay, shoot, how do we get to this? How do we? Okay, we gotta back up. We gotta go through the farm. I think. Is there a fence up there? Okay, I think that's the only way in here. Yeah, shoot, I went way past it. We gotta back up and get in here. Take the ninety-five seventy. Turn it all the way around, and especially, especially when you're farming and you're playing realistic, that's the best too. I like I, I used to just not play realistic, and you guys were like, "Squad, come on, man, why are you doing that? Why are you running the ditch?" And it's beginning to force me to play realistic, and it makes the game a lot funner. So, thank you guys, thank you guys for forcing me to, to be uh, realistic. Okay, we'll make you. Uh, ah, shoot, is this gonna work? Please don't tell me I Oh man, please be able to fit through these two trees. Okay, we're good. How do we get into the field though? Okay, we have no idea. This is the neighbors. I've never talked to neighbors. Oh, that's... Okay, so these guys have put all... Are starting to put my equipment in the neighbor's shed over here. Shoot, I should probably tell them this isn't our shed. Okay, we'll keep pulling through here. Dude, the pig farm does look pretty cool. The only reason I want to get pigs is because... Like, oh shoot, shoot. Gosh darn it. Get out of here. Okay, the only reason I want to get pigs is just because the everything looks sweet here. Like the pig farm is just completely different. I like the pig huts we have going here too. And then the nice little shed. And then this in here. It, everything's nice about it. Even though I hate pigs. Like once I start doing pigs, I like I, I kill pigs in farming simulator. Like I'm just not good at feeding them and watering them down and I forget to and eventually uh, accidentally kill them. Okay, we'll turn this on. Start her up. Okay, here we go. Prediction. Squad prediction. Let me take a look at this. Shoot, I, I kind of just went in the reel. I think we get, we get done with this field. And we fill the combine up. 63%. 63%. Here we go. Put your prediction in. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Do we fill the combine up all the way? Do we go 81, 83%? Do we go 
eighty or er, seventy-three percent is what I said. Oh wait, we gotta turn on straw because that's the only reason I did this. Enable straw swath. Yes, we need straw swath. Oh my gosh, no, it's gonna be way less. It's gonna be way less. Change your answer, guys. Okay, oh, maybe not. I don't know, dude. I still can't tell. We're at three percent. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be like forty now. I don't know. It's not gonna hit sixty-three <laughs> percent. Shoot, I'm yeah, I was way off there. Oh, yeah, we're at five percent right now. It's gonna be tough. And I should probably make these into bales. You know what? I should go grab the baler right now, and making them into bales, and just make this one really long video too. That's what I should be doing. Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard to turn all these uh, corners and stuff. We should be able to though. Okay, we're at 10%. Yeah, we'll probably be somewhere in the 40s now, is what I'm predicting. We gotta be somewhere in the 40s is what we'll be at. Dude, this is kind of a tight field to harvest. There we go. Maybe we'll be in the 30s. We could be even be in the 30s too, to be honest. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I'll go grab that baler, pick up that baler, go grab an 8R, connect to the baler, and start baling this. Get a couple more straw bales off of this little section here. That'd be nice. We'll go all the way to the end, and then make my pass, pass down there, and then eventually just go back and forth, finish this off a little bit. We're at 18%. Hmm, maybe we'll be, uh, maybe 50s. Uh, I don't know. It's tough to say, I guess. <clears throat> okay, we're at 38%. And we're on our last pass here. <laughs> I wonder what we're... Uh, we'll finish at 42%, I'm calling. 42. That's what we'll most likely finish at. We'll go run this back, and then I'm going to grab the baler. I decided, well, let's grab the baler. Well, let's get these bales made. And eventually, I'll haul them back. Maybe with the... Uh, nah, not with a ranger. But eventually, we'll haul them back. Ooh, only 40%. Maybe 41? Only 40%. Wow, okay. We'll lift this up. Take this back. Yeah, so, dude, there's no way. I didn't need a gravity wagon at all. We did not need a gravity wagon. I'll go pick up the baler. And what's nice about our baler is it creates these big straw bales. It creates these big, like, realistic bales. Like, the bales in Farming Simulator are usually, like, tiny. And the ones this one creates, it's just like huge, big bales. I love it. I love it. So we'll take the STS back over here. Take her over there. Now, in real life, so in real life, both of, uh, oh, shoot. Oh, man, we hit a tree, didn't we? Can we get through here? Ah, what are we hitting? Oh, we're hitting the fence post. That's what we're hitting. I was like, what the heck? The fence post is literally like in the bush right there. Oh, I couldn't see it. But uh, anyways, in real life, um, both of my uncles, uh, both of my uncles farm and stuff. So like last year we were planning on going and visiting them and stuff. Um, like I grew up when I was younger, just every spring break and summer break, just going and helping them, you know, helping me and just riding along and stuff. It was awesome and stuff. And I enjoyed it. So you know, are trying to get back there, uh, to get some drone footage, some real life footage and stuff like that. Um, getting back there and, you know, seeing all their equipment and their whole operation back there. So I'm hoping to do that eventually, you know, sometime mid-October, you know, when they're really digging into it. Uh, that'd be sweet to do. Hopefully, me and Spence can get back there, and then we'd have some uh, farming footage and video for you guys. Obviously, you can find it all over YouTube, but uh, it's different when you come when it comes from a gamer, I guess. So, cruise control, and then, should I run the 83 on her? The 8370? Let's, let's think. 8370, I could run the 7810. 8520, even though, dude, the thing is, I really want to run the 8370 just because I love that tractor. I love that tractor, so I want to run on the baler, even though it might be a little, might be a little too big for the baler, but it'll be fine. I, I don't know, for some reason, that tractor, it's just, it's nice. Everything about it, it's nice. It looks good, especially with the shaders. It, really looks, it looks real nice with the shaders. Okay, we'll pull over here and start unloading this wheat. Pull in here. Watch out for Big Red or Clifford. I should say Clifford, not Big Red. Clifford, 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 Clifford. I feel like I've named something else Clifford before. 
there we go. We'll whip around here. So we're unloading this. Now, hopefully this works. I mean, technically in real life, you could do this. You could do this. It might be a little tough to get it all lined up. But it's doable. Dude, am I going to be able to unload? It's got to get... This might be tough. Because I don't want to unload here because it might drop to the ground, guys. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it trying to do this. I'm afraid it's going to drop through the ground. Darn. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it at all. I'm going to go hook up to a gradu wagon here. Uh, okay, you know what? Shoot. Okay, we need the ranger. We need the ranger to do this properly. Like, I know what... I've had this happen so many times to where it'll just drop through the ground. What I need is the ranger. Okay. Wherever my ranger is... Oh, that's right. It's in here. We'll grab the ranger, hook up to the gravity wagons, pull the gravity wagons under, unload the gravity wagons, and then unload the gravity wagons into the pit. As long as the little ranger can pull it. Dude, this thing is nice, man. I use it for everything, actually. Like, anything I need to hook up to, I just grab the ranger. Anywhere you need to go, take the ranger. We need to start naming this. Maybe we should name the ranger Clifford instead of my truck. Maybe that's what we should do. Clifford. Where's Clifford at? Clifford's on his way. It's the ranger. Okay, um, okay, yeah, we'll get the red ones. The red ones will match Clifford, and I only need one. But, I'm not going to make the mistake. Shoot. I'm not going to make the mistake of having two of them, though. Meaning, I don't want to disconnect this one and then have to back this one up, because it sucks when you have to back it up. But, but, we'll do it anyways. There we go. We'll connect her. And, uh... There we go. Mini Clifford. Oh, that's what we could do. Mini Clifford. We call it Mini, Mini Clifford and Clifford. That's what we could do. Mini Clifford, Clifford. Pull her under. Um, oh, how's this going to work? Uh, I need to pull around this way. That'll work good. Dude, it just yanks the gravity wagon. Oh, it pulls good. Okay. Um, right there. Okay, now this is going to work. Sweet. I was hoping this would work. There we go. It's actually loading in there. And then eventually... Nice. And then now I can unload in here. Okay, so now we know it actually worked out well. There we go. For now, we'll have uh, Mini Clifford just pull around here. And then I'll put the... Uh, com oh, shoot. Where did I put the Draper, though? Can I put it in? Uh, you, we should probably put the Draper somewhere back here quick. What we should be doing. So I'll pull back here. Drop the Draper off. Put the combine away. Hook up to the baler yet, yeah, man. Oh, this is going to be a long video. It's fine, though. It's fun making long videos. Especially when I have the time to make long videos. Why not? Okay, we'll back up here. Uh, oh, I think it'll fit. It might be kind of tough, but it should work out. I we, we should be good here. Uh, right. Oh, this might be kind of tough. There we go. Uh, lift her up. Right there. Oh, shoot. Oh. Right, uh, right there. Nice. There we go. Uh, hopefully that stays. I don't know if it's going to stay. Okay, we'll throw the STS back in the shed. Um, and then grab the 8370, which has duels on it. So I'm going to take the rear duel off. Just put singles. That way we'll be able to fit in tight areas, especially over along that fence line. Pull in here, back her up, and then uh, go grab the 83 is what we'll do. Come on. Oh, this might be a little tight. There we go. 83 is ready. Rock and roll. She's uh, she's good. We kind of tested. We gave her a little test run, you could say, on the weed over there. Or 83. Um, 97. 95. 95. 70. 97. 50. No, 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 no. Oh. I gotta go back and look at those models. It was a 9750. Yeah, 9750. Okay, the 83 is over here hooked up to the... Oh, how are the cows doing, actually? Cows are doing fine. Okay, everything's doing fine. Okay, we'll disconnect the 83. There we go. And I might as well just leave the duels on. It's probably fine. It doesn't matter too much for a bailer. It's fine. I might as well just leave them on. I'll take the 83, and I think, okay, I know where this baler is because I've been searching all the sheds um, for other equipment, and I always keep running into this baler. So I know exactly where it is. 
right over here. As long as I can pull in here and connect to it. Oh, this might be a little tough, to be honest. Maybe we need, hey, maybe we need the Ranger again. Or we could get the uh, 1066 over there. Ah, we should be good. Uh, pull forward a little bit. Oh, you know what, dude? This is going to be a little tough getting out. Shoot. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me pull. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work the best. Okay, we need the Ranger. We need the Ranger again. Go grab the Ranger. Mini Clifford. Baby Clifford. Baby Cliff. Baby Cliff. Baby Clifford. I don't know. What sounds good? Baby Clifford? Baby Clifford sounds good. Grab the Ranger. Oh, dude, this thing's just so quick. It just whips around here. It's like, I'm ready, squad. Okay, hold on. Oh, shoot. Oh, I keep hitting the wall, man. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Pull forward. Back up. And now we'll back up and connect. Uh, where's that? Oh, shoot. Oh, man, I'm stuck. I'm literally pinched beside the wall. How am I going to do this? Uh, okay, you know what? I don't have to get out. It's fine. There we go. Now, with the tight turning radius, we can just pull out right here. Then hook up. Take Mini uh, Clifford. Just pull Mini Clifford off to the side there. And then hook up the 83 to her. Oh, why do I always shut it off? We got 15 hours on the 83. I wonder how many hours are on the 8520. I'm really curious. Now. There we go. Okay, we'll get out. Hook up the uh, hitch and then the PTO. Oh, shoot. PTO is hooked up. Ready to go. The 83... We'll pull around here and then rip down there. Um, okay, I'm going through a cruise control all the way up. Crank her all the way up to 31, 32. There we go. Maybe I should have got some diesel too on our way. There we go. What's nice during the live streams and stuff is that I have a buddy seat uh, right alongside me and stuff. And so we saw, oh, what was his name? Was it Wade? Yeah, Wade was in the tractor with me last live stream. And so actually speaking of live streams, I've been thinking... I've been thinking of uh, doing a sponsorship to where if you're a sponsor, you get plenty of benefits. And then also you get special access to a Discord where we're going to announce when we're live streaming stuff, the live stream password, and only the people who are sponsors can join the live stream. So that way, if you really want to be in my videos during live stream, um, you can do that and have a good chance of being in my videos. I was, I was kind of thinking of doing it. So let me, know, let me know what you guys think of that, I guess. Okay, we'll pull around here. It, this shouldn't take too long. We should just whip around here, and we should uh, we should be good. Dude, hopefully, maybe one day, maybe one day we can take over the pig farm. That'd be nice. Yeah, we'll pull in here. Turn her on. Get her cranking up. She's ready to rock and roll. Oh, shoot. One thing I forgot to do is lower. Nice. There we go. Okay. We'll throw cruise control on, which is, what, nine mile an hour while we're bailing? There we go. And one thing I got to do is I got to remember to get out and unload the bales. I think it's a Y. Is it a Y? I'm pretty sure it's Y. I thought it was a Y. Oh, shoot. We missed a little bit. Eighty-one percent should be Y once I'm full, and close to being full. There we go. I'll back her up here, turn her to the side, then unload her. There we go. Drop her down. Keep going. Okay. How many? Uh, how many? Oh, how many? Oh, I should have asked that question. How many bales do you guys think we're gonna get off of here? It'll be uh, it'll be interesting. Okay, I can't make that turn, so I'm just gonna take this row right over here. We we might be missing some some straws here, but it's fine. I just want to get a couple bales off at least. Why not? While we're at it. See, I love working with small land just because it's good for videos. It's easy it's easy to rec record compared to do huge huge acres and stuff. Like you guys don't even every like you guys don't even like if I did if I did huge huge fields, it'd be so tough. Like I'd I'd have like days and days of footage of just boring footage and stuff oh shoot we're not there yet okay we'll back her up right along here and drop the bail hold her up and we're ready to rock and roll again with 83 Dude, 
I'm so spoiled with the shaders, I feel like. Like, these, everything looks perfect right now, but I should really do a video where I just go back to regular, take out the shaders, and the whole time, the whole video, you'd hear me like, oh my gosh, man. It sucks without shaders. Because right now, I feel like everything just looks, it's beautiful, everything looks nice. I don't know, the straw really has a nice texture to it. Okay, what, we have one, two, do we have a third one? This is gonna be our third one. We'll get what, like three and a half or something out of this? Cranker around here. And back her up. Drop her down. And then, okay, so I'm gonna try to go around and just scoop up like every little stuff we can get to try to complete one more bale, if that's possible. As long as I can stay on my tracks good. We should be able to. There we go, I'll just go over the tracks. Nice, I got a big, big pile right here. There we go. Ah, oh, dude, it's, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to finish this off. I think for now, I'm just gonna leave this here is what we'll do. We'll just leave this here and then we'll head back to the farm with the tractor way and I should probably pick up these bales soon. Uh, we'll take the tractor this way. There we go. Okay, so what? I got three bales off of there. I could, could I unload this? I don't think I can. Yeah, oh, you know what? No, I can't. I was gonna say, maybe I could uh, unload that. Yeah, we'll take a right, turn on the beacon, and we got three more straw bales. Watch, it helps. It helps having three more straw bales because the cows go through straw so quick. Speaking of cows, I wonder how many cows we actually have total now. Probably in the 50s, maybe 40s. I think 50s. I think we're up to 50s now because the first round of cows I bought, I bought like 40 something. Somewhere in the 40s, I know for sure. So yeah, we got we got to be up close to the 50s. I'm thinking where we're at now. Oh, the corns are about ready to be picked. Oh, dude, that's gonna be oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. That's our, our only cornfield now because the other one we just completely chopped all of that. So that oh wait no, what that's corn too. Okay, so maybe we do have a lot of cornfields. Oh wait no, that's my garden. So that's the, oh, that's the other cornfield. My my garden, my sweet corn over there, is uh is our other cornfield over there. Nice. Okay, we will turn off the beacons. And the 83 we'll put away from here. Maybe we'll do some more straw bailing. We'll see, I guess. But guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did watch a lot of the video and you, and you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks, guys.